it was always very competitive in Wales. It really was. It was a South Wales and Monmouthshire Show Association, which was basically Monmouth and West. And um, they had point systems at the end of the year who won the points. It was always very competitive. There's one or two, well, quite a lot of very good little Welsh riders, so they forced you mm. to get better. And it was always three rounds. Right. And no, no, no clock at all. Okay. Yeah, nothing, nothing like that. So you always started off sort of here, and finished up there. Yeah. And um, you learned your trade that way. Yeah, yeah. How much of an influence were people like Harry Llewellyn? Pat Smythe, I guess, would have been. Well, Pat, Pat used to come down to two or three shows a year. Yeah. And I, I, can't, I, I loved the way she rode. Yeah. I mean, she used to ride a little short leg cob called Flanagan. Right. And what she could jump on, that was nobody's business. Yeah. And I thought, well, if that little stocky devil could jump that, her star can't be that bad. Mm. You with me? And that's what I, yeah. I sort of always had that in the back of my mind. Yeah. But Sir Harry was a great supporter. Right. And he, he only lived 20 miles away. Of course. Yeah. 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 So was it, I think, wildfire? Was, that's right. Was that, the, was that the real breakthrough? Sort of oh, absolutely, was, 60 yeah. quid's worth. Yeah, um, incredible. Just tell us the story about that. Cause, yeah. Father had seen him Yeah. Um, when I was seven, the year when I was 17, Yeah. and a local lad had him, and um, he, he got the chance to buy him. He wasn't over keen, Father wasn't, but they, they rode him in a, in, a, in, a, in a, without a martingale with his head up, and yeah. he was a, he, he appeared to be a horrible horse. Right. Right. Tail going like old boots, ears back and whatever. And um, we bought him, and I had a couple of jumps on him home here. And I have never felt anything like him. He was like wow. a bouncing ball. Incredible. Right. Yeah. So um, we kept him that winter. It was in October we had him. Yeah. yeah. And father le lent him out for people to go hunting on him. Right. Yeah. And uh, we went to our first show come the spring, Glanusk. Never forget it. Triple bar away from home, fence three, eliminated. Great. So father said, we'll give him one more chance. Right, so that was Stowell Park. You know, right. Up in the, in the Cotswolds. And I can't remember what happened the first day, but the second day we won two classes. Right. That was enough. And then. that was it. The deal was done. Yeah, <laughs> and, uh, I mean, yeah. I, I think it was either that year or the following year, he was the leading horse in Britain. Wow. I believe he was a wonderful horse. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And um, he, he was oddball. He'd allow you to put his bridle on one go. Right. You know, he'd drop his head, yeah. and get it on, and that was it. If you messed it up, forget it. And, uh, but yeah. he and I hit it off, and, um, yeah. you know, I mean, I went to three counties one year. We traveled every day, yeah. and in three days, we won four classes. Wow. You know, I mean, that was a sort of yeah, yeah, yeah. animal he had. and. The so first, he was the one that really yeah, he got me, pushed you up the rung a bit. Yeah, he yeah. actually got me up onto the Olympic shortlist. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Now, yeah. That was for Rome. Yeah. That was for Rome, yes. Yeah. Yeah. And it was while we were in the preparation for Rome that um, Pat, Pat Smythe had been given a horse called Sun Salve, right. who'd won the Queen's Cup a couple of years yeah. before uh, for the owner's daughter. And uh, an odd story here, in one of the warm-ups, we were in Cardiff, believe it or not, Indian right. Park, okay. in the football ground. Yeah. And um, it was just a, a pure um, warm-up test for the Olympics, big right. course and everything. And um, Pat won it on Sun I think I was about third. And on the way home, Father said, well, and he loved that. Yeah. He said, she might have won today but he'll never go again. Right. Now, for somebody to say that, yeah. when they'd won, yeah, yeah, absolutely. you're with me, yeah, yeah, yeah. and the next show we went to was Wiesbaden, and then Lucerne, yeah. and he never did go again. Wow, incredible. And it was following that, yeah. that um, we managed to talk to Mr. Anderson yeah. in Norfolk. Yeah. We went to see him. Yeah. He and Father got on like a house on fire. Right. And, um, you know, couple of shows later, yeah. he won the King George. Yeah. And he went to the Olympics at yeah. age 18, 19, 19? 20. 20. What, was that, what was that like? I remember that the, 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 the individual was on the Wednesday. Right. And it was in the, the Borghese Gardens. Okay. Yeah, that's where they always have the horse yeah. show. Yeah. 
And it was like a, an ordinary horse show, really, with a bit of plenty of flags and blah, blah, blah. And then the first round, I think, I can't remember, I think I had one two down or one down. The second, the second round, um, it was a big track. He came round to the little wall by fence three. Bloody well popped out. My dad was stood right by it. Oh no. I thought, here we go, you get killed here. So anyway, I, I finished up, I had the last fence there as well. So I finished up with 23 faults. Right. And the 60 to follow. Yeah. You with me? Yeah. And we watched more and more go, and and, and they kept it. it was, the two Dinsales, I mean, they were fantastic. I think Raimondo had eight faults, right. and Piero had 16 or something. It was a tough but old they, track then. Oh, they, they were the top guys in yeah, the world. Yeah. And um, yeah. they, um, as, a, as a thing, one of the people that, people who would have four faults in the first round managed to have five down or something, right. and finish up on 24 faults. Oh, that's all right, that's all right. And damn if in the end I didn't finish up third. Wow. See, so that was that was lovely, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wrong colour, I thought, but there we go. Lucky yeah. to be there. Yeah. And um, come the Sunday now, we moved to the Olympic Stadium. Right. Eight o'clock in the morning, six thousand people watching, jumping out, jumping every round, whatever. Come the afternoon for the second round, um, about two o'clock, we went into the ring, and, and we were halfway up up the stands. Right. The shoot was you at the walk. Walk from that level oh, down, into, down the into the ring. Right? right, right. Let me tell you, there was 120,000 people watching. Oh my God. Well, I tell you, I, don't, I think I stopped breathing. <laughs> um, and uh, the bell went, I went round to the first fence, missed him. Right, right. He popped another win in, jumped it. And I went, Phew, thank God for that. Yeah. And I thought to myself, Broom, if you don't pull your ideas up, you're going to get killed in here. You, you with me? It was honestly, I, I can remember as clear as that. <laughs> And uh, I managed to, I, I, pulled, I did pull myself together and um, I think it was a, a very dubious clear round we jumped, but it didn't make any difference because right. one of our colleagues had got eliminated. Yeah, yeah. But um, I decided then, nerves don't help. Right, right. I worked that out, right? Yeah. So yeah, yeah. after that, before a big class like the King's Cup or something, a couple of hours before, you'd have a little twinge in the tail, you know. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So come the day, come the, come the class, yeah. Don't worry about what it is. It's only you and the horse. Yeah. Worry about him. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. all that's going to help you. Yeah. yeah. Not the occasion. Yeah. And of course, and you, you, good step. you got the bronze medal individually. Yeah. Uh, at Rome. Did you sort of? You're still a very young man. Did you have any idea what what you'd actually achieved with, with that? I mean, you've gone to the Olympics as a twenty-year-old. But you really. I mean, in the middle. and we went from, we went from Rome. To, to, to Venice, and I was third in the world championships. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. Um, there was all, you know, I mean, I think mother, the mother and father kept me level. Yeah. You were never allowed to sort of get big headed or anything like yourself. that. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, my sister certainly wouldn't allow me to get big headed. Yeah. And uh, we just, you know, we had to make it pay yeah. to win. Yeah. yeah. Being the sort of. What you did, yeah. and of course, then you won the BBC Sports personality. Well, that was a, that was a bit of a turn up. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I I remember we when you had our equestrian riders lunch, and we got the old footage of and yeah. old was it Sansar, wasn't it? Yes. They brought the horse in, didn't they? They did indeed. Yeah. Did you know about Not that? Not a clue. Really? No. So. <laughs> I always wanted to try and double up on what I was doing. I always thought that the invitation came to go there in the yeah. evening. I thought, well. Let's take a day after all the way to London for the place. So I went up the night before okay. um, with my lolly and stayed with my great aunt in Barnes. Right. And the morning of, I went out to Essex, picked up a big load of straw, right. and uh, I came back to my auntie's again, had a bath, got changed, got back in the lorry, drove it down to the, six, the 600 group, which were parked right opposite um, Shepherd's Bush. Right. Parked the lorry up, walked across the road. I went to the do. Came out afterwards, trophy under the arm, got to the lorry, put the trophy on the on the spare seat, changed my trousers, got home at four o'clock. That's incredible. Because yeah. uh, you were the first equestrian to the winner, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Incredible. Yeah. So you've done all this at a ridiculously young age. How, how different was it all going to your second that was I went to I went to to, to Tokyo. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that was 
I borrowed my sister's hands for that. Yeah. But um, I, my preparation wasn't good for that. Yeah. We were there too early. Right. And um, my horse was very capable, but by the time the competition had come, he'd, he'd gone off. Right.